What's up guys? This is Ted Indo with another edition of the Epic TV Surf Report. Today we're talking about stunts, as in doing crazy things for the camera in order to get clicks. In the last couple of weeks, you might have seen a video floating around of the big wave surfer Ian Walsh dropping into pretty sizable jaws on, yes, an inflatable hot dog. Walsh later said of the stunt, it's quote, pretty much committing 100% that you're gonna get licked. So, so why the hell would you do something like that? My theory is that it has to do with page views. Walsh's bosses at Red Bull know that he's a divine big wave surfer, probably one of the best in the world, but they also know that he's not the biggest name nor the biggest personality in the game. So they need something that's really going to ramp up the excitement of it. They need something to take it to that next level. They need something like an inflatable pool toy. Of course, Walsh merely adopted the pool toy. It was the great Jamie O'Brien who popularized this particular form of spectacle when he started riding waves at maxing pipeline on a foam wave storm surfboard. A lot of people have been criticizing Jamie O'Brien lately because his latest webisode series has featured a lot more partying and various idiotry than it has actual surfing. But I kind of appreciate his approach to surfing because it shows us that even in very serious waves, riding waves probably shouldn't be taken all that seriously. When we get too caught up in all the make-believe mysticism and pseudo-spirituality of what we do, sometimes it's easy to lose sight of the fact that, really, it's one baby step above splashing around in the bathtub. Perhaps even more outlandish, if that's even possible, than Walsh or O'Brien are the shark riding antics of Mark Healy. Just last week, he released a video through his Twitter feed of him literally stiff-arming a tiger shark that came in just a little too close for comfort. The clip was an outtake from his latest GoPro ad campaign with the Italian glamour model Roberta Mancino. In an interview with Surfing Magazine, Healy talks about how he makes these videos in order to uh, change the opinion or change the way that people view sharks. Sharky and George, the crime busters of the sea. But the message is slightly lost when the camera focuses on Mancino rolling around like a seal and blowing kisses. All these stunts make up what I like to think of as the spectacularization, or if you will, red bullerization of extreme sports. It's all really entertaining viewing, but I think eventually someone up top, and also we as viewers, have to start thinking about the ethical questions of throwing money at young people to put themselves into progressively more dangerous situations just so we can have a laugh. Don't get me wrong, this kind of stuff has its place. For instance, the celebrated Hawaiian hellman Jose Angel used to do backflips off the lip at Waimea and into the trough just for kicks. I mean, we all gotta get through the day somehow, and if that's how you get your kicks, fine, go for it. The problem arises when they start doing it for the camera, or indeed, doing it simply because the camera is there. Then not only does it feel forced and kind of silly, it might even feel a bit exploitative. Mark Healy is easily one of my very favorite people in the surfing world. Walsh, as well, seems like a really solid guy, and he's one of the best surfers in the big wave game. Jamie O'Brien is, well, he's Jamie O'Brien, and of course we all love him for what he does. And I'm also really glad that all these guys have companies that will pay them for doing what they are really good at. That's super positive, and there's no way to get around it. However, there comes a time where you stop being a surfer, you stop being a waterman, and really you become a paid monkey who's just dancing to the whims of the people in the marketing board. If these guys want to do crazy stunts for the camera, or if their bosses want to ask them to do crazy stunts for the camera, I hope they're at least getting paid really well for it. Because from where I sit, it looks like a pretty tough way to make that rent check. Thanks for watching the surf report, guys. I put a lot of opinions out there on a daily basis, but to be honest, none of them mean very much unless you're also engaging with me. So please take a moment and go down to the bottom of the page and leave your two cents.